everyone, this is Aisha Sheikh and a very warm welcome to my channel once again. In today's video, I'm going to teach you something related to time. We've already learned about o'clock and half past, isn't it? And we've also solved a worksheet together. Well, in this video, we are going to focus on quarter past and quarter two. Most of our kids, they get confused with quarter past and quarter two. They are fine as long as they learn o'clock and half past. But once you introduce quarter past and quarter two, they get so muddled up. Hence, I'm going to try my level best to make it easy for you guys. Okay. And towards the end, we will also solve a worksheet together. So let's get started. All right. Let's learn about quarter past and quarter two. Prior to that, there's something else we need to learn. And you know what it is? Okay, there's a quick activity for you and you need to tell me what it is. What is this? It's a circle, not a regular shape though. <laughs> but then, okay, wiggly, it's a circle, right? It's a whole circle. What is it? A whole circle. Now, what if I try to draw a line from the center? This is the center. What happened now? There are two parts. This is the first part and this is the second part. There are two parts of the circle. So what do you say this? When a circle is divided into two equal parts, this is the word. This is the key word. Two equal parts. Then what is it called? It's called half. This is the vocabulary. Half. Okay. So two parts, two equal parts. It's called half. So this is one half and this is the other half. Cool. Now. What if I try drawing another line right from the center here? Do I still have two parts? Uh-uh, no, I do not have two equal parts, but instead I have four equal parts. So that's one, that's two, three, and four. Now, do I still call it half? No, I don't call it half. I call it quarter. What do I say? Quarter. And what's quarter? Quarter, it means four equal parts. And for half, it is two equal parts. Is that clear? So, what did we learn today? We learned three vocabulary. That's whole, half, and quarter. Whole is a complete thing. Half means two equal parts. And quarter means four equal parts. Cool. So, now let's move on. So that will be better. Now we just spoke about the circle. Whatever we spoke there, does it apply over here as well? Yes, it does. So see, when it is divided into two parts, it's called half. And when it's divided into four parts, it's called quarter. So this is one quarter. This is another quarter. This is third quarter. And that's the fourth quarter. There are four quarters. Can you see that? So one, how many minutes in each quarter? To know that, you should know how many minutes in one hour. In one hour, we have 60 minutes. And how do we get that? See, I've written the minutes outside. So after 55, 60. So one hour has 60 minutes. Now, what will be the half of 60? Half an hour. So how many minutes in half an hour? Is it going to be 60? No. What's the half of 60? It's 30. So 30 minutes in half an hour. So if you see the clock here, this part from here to here is 30 minutes. And from here to here, it's another 30 minutes. How many minutes in half an hour? Let's give it a quick try. Okay. Let's try from here to here. Is it 30 minutes? Already, of course, we have written 30, but we can do, uh, we can skip counting fives. So you'll know it better. Start from here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. See? Okay, let's try this one. From here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. See? 30 minutes in half an hour. 30 minutes in half an hour. Now, we just learned about half an hour. Now, how about quarter? Quarter is four part. That's half of half an hour. So... Quarter, we write it this way, one by four, okay? Quarter of an hour equal to, what's the half of 50? Uh, sorry, what's the half of 30? 
the half of 30 is 15 minutes. So each quarter consists of 15 minutes. So if you have seen here, you can also try it. See, from here till here. Is it 15? Let's see. Skip counting in fives, okay? 5, 10, 15. Isn't it 15? Yes. Okay, let's try this one from here to here. Is it 15 yet? Start. 5, 10, 15. See? 15 minutes. Okay, you can try making one of this as well and stick it near your bed. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. This is a format of a clock. You can see the numbers here, right? There's What's missing here? The two hands. The long and the short hand is missing here. Well, what else do you see? You can see numbers outside as well. And have you seen the pattern here? It starts from zero, then it's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. There's no 60, it's zero again. What are this? They are the minutes. What are they? They are the minutes. So when the long hand is on one, it means it's five minutes. When the long hand is on two, it means it is 10 minutes. Okay, so that's the minutes part. And have you seen the pattern here? It's in skip counting in five. So you can take your five fingers each time and count forward and you get the answer. You want to know how? Let's start from zero. Take five fingers and count forward. One, two, three, four, five. See? Five. Let's try again. Take five fingers. Five. After fives. Count forward from five now. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See? So skip counting in fives it is. So the minutes on a clock is in the order of skip counting in fives. Is that clear? So these are the numbers and these are the minutes outside. All right. Now, there's another thing you need to learn today. The, well, you can see here the clock is divided into two parts. Yeah. Can you see this line? A dotted line right in the middle? Yes. So it has divided this clock into two parts. That's called half. We learned about it, isn't it? Now, what is this? What's this vocabulary here? This says past and this says to. So this means this side of the clock, we use the vocabulary past. Whereas this side of the clock, we use the vocabulary to. And how do we use this? This I'm going to teach you now. Can you see this time here? The long hand is on three and the short hand is on five. Long hand is on three, short hand is on five. Now the trick here is when the long hand is on three, we say it as quarter past. Why past? Remember? This side of the clock, it's called past. And the long hand is on three. So we use the term past. Next. So See how we wrote the time here, 5.15. Why is it 15? We have written the time here in minutes. So we can see here quickly. See, 5, 10, 15. 15, can you see that? So when the long hand is on 3, it means it is 15 minutes past that particular hour. All right. So what's the time here? It means it is 15 minutes past what? Where's the hour hand? It's on 5. 15 minutes past 5. And how do we write the digital time? 5, 15. The hour always comes first and the minute comes next. Okay. So let's see what are the different ways of writing time. First, it is said as quarter past 5. When the long hand is on 3, we say it as quarter past 5. That's one way. The second way I already told you, it means 15 minutes past 5. So remember, when the long hand is on three, you should immediately be able to say that, oh, this is quarter past or it is 15 minutes past. Okay, next. And the last one is 5.15. So quarter past means 15 minutes. So 15 minutes past, quarter past and 15. These are the different ways of writing time. Okay, what's the time here? The short hand is on two and the long hand is on three. We are going to write the digital time here, okay? And also the analog time. So shorthand first. So the shorthand is on two, so we write two. The long hand is on three, so what do we say? We say it as 15. So what's the time? 2, 15. Now, how do we say this in the analog way? We say this as quarter, quarter past two. 
this quarter past always comes first. We don't say two quarter past. We say it as quarter past two. So we are going to write here quarter past two. Okay, next one. Short hand is on eight and the long hand is on three. What's the time? Eight and 15. Eight, 15. And how do I write the analog time here? It means quarter past seven. What is it? Ten? Quarter past. What is the short hand? Eight. So quarter past eight. Next one. What's the time here? Six, 15. Six, 15. Okay. Now, how do I write the analog time? It's quarter past six. Quarter past six. Okay, I hope you're getting your answers right. How about this? Mm, the short hand is on nine and the long hand is on three. So, what's the time? The time is 9.15. 9.15. And how do I write the analog time? It says quarter past nine. Quarter past quarter past nine what's the time here let's be quick it's 5 15 5 15 and what would be the analog time it's quarter past five quarter past five easy peasy isn't it all right so we just finished with quarter past and we are back to this again. So we completed this part. Okay, that's past. When the long hand is on three, we say it as quarter past. Now we're going to look at the other half. Maybe say two. So I'm sure you already estimated that we are going to learn about quarter two. First, prior to that, let's do a quick briefing of what's quarter two. Can you see there? The long hand is on nine and the short hand is between five and six. Long hand is on 9 and the short hand is between 5 and 6. So, when the long hand is on 9, we say it as quarter 2. Okay, what do we say? Quarter 2. And it's between 5 and 6. So, which number do I choose? Do I say it as quarter to 6 or quarter to 5? It's quarter to 6. Why is it quarter to 6? Earlier when I taught you half past, I told you that. We always look at the smaller number or the number that comes first in the order. Why over here we are saying it as quarter to six instead of quarter to five? That's because the quarter minutes left for six. Let's count uh, the minutes after nine until you reach 12. Okay, so let's keep counting in five. Five, ten, fifteen minutes. There are fifteen minutes. That's quarter minutes left to be six o'clock. That's the reason we say it as quarter to six. We always look at the next number. Okay. Look at the bigger number when we learn about quarter two. Is that clear? For half past, what do we do? We look at the smaller number. Smaller number. Okay. And for quarter two, we look at the bigger number. Big. Okay. Now, that was for analog time. For analog time, we look at the big number. But how about for the digital time? Do you still write it as 6.45? No, we don't write it that way. It's 5.45. For digital time, you write it exactly the same way. That's 5.45. Okay, so you might, uh, let me clear a doubt here. Why it is 5.45? Because if you have seen here, the sh okay, what does 5.45 mean? It means that 45 minutes have already passed. You want to see how? See here. Let me show you this. Okay. 45 minutes. How is 45 minutes already passed? So look at this. Start counting from here. Okay. From 0. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So from 5 o'clock, 45 minutes have already passed. And in another 15 minutes, it's going to be 6 o'clock. Right. In another 15 minutes, 1, 2, 3, that's 5, 10, 15 minutes is going to be 6 o'clock. 
Hence, when you write digital time, you write the exact time. You write it as 5.45 because 45 minutes have passed from 5 o'clock. Okay? This could be a bit confusing, but I'm sure with practice you would be able to ace this. So, when the long hand is on 9, we say quarter 2. Okay? Now, how do we uh, say the time? So the first way is quarter to six. As I said, look at the bigger number when you learn quarter to. So analog way of writing the time is looking at the big number. Quarter to six. Cool. Next one. 5.45. Digital time it is 5.45. Next. How else can we uh, write the time? 15 minutes to six. Quarter means 15 minutes, right? So 15 minutes to six. Next one. 45 minutes past 5. 45 minutes past 5. So from 5 o'clock, it's 45 minutes already past. That's why we say 45 minutes past 5. And why do we say 15 minutes to? And you remember, this part of the clock was 2. So that's why we say here 15 minutes to 6. Okay? So what's the time here? Let's do it quickly. So the short hand is between 4 and 5 and the long hand is on 9. First, let's write the digital time. How do we write the digital time? The hour comes first that the short hand is between 4 and 5. So we look at the smaller number. So that's 4, 45 because it's on 9. 4, 45. How do we write the analog time? We say it as quarter 2. What's the next number? Quarter 2. In another quarter minutes, where will the shorthand come? It will land on 5. So what's the time? Quarter to 5. Let's write. Quarter to 5. Next one. What's the time here? The shorthand is between 10 and 11. Long hand is on 9. So what's the time here? It's 10. We look at the smaller number for digital time. 10 and the long hand is on 9. So it's 45 Right? Because it's 45 minutes. 9 represents 45 minutes. So 10, 45 is the time. Let's write the analog clock. Do I say it as quarter to 10? No. Because in another quarter minutes, it's going to be 11 o'clock. So it's quarter to 11. It's 10 here and 11 over here. Because in another quarter minutes, that's 15 minutes, it's going to be 11 o'clock. Okay, next one. What's the time here? It's the short hand is between 7 and 8 and the long hand is on 9. So what's the time? Time is 7.45. Okay, and how do you write the analog time? It is quarter to, it's 7. So what's the next number? 8, right? Quarter to 8. In another 15 minutes, it's going to be 8 o'clock. So that's quarter to 8. Next one. Um, what's the time here? The short hand is between 2 and 3 and the long hand is on 9. So the time is 2. Look at the small hand. 2.45. Right? And uh, how do we write the how do we write the analog time? It's quarter 2. After 2, what's the next number? It's 3. So quarter 2. Three. Okay. Okay. What's the time here? The short hand is between 11 and 12. Whereas the long hand is on 9. The time is 11.45. I hope you got that right. And what would be the analog time? We would say this as quarter to 12. In another 15 minutes, it's going to be 12 o'clock. So, quarter to to well well that's it for today and inshallah i'll see you in my next video until then god bless you much love and do remember to spread kindness yes yeah, sufyan bye bye <laughs> good one